for Okay. Again, if you have any additional questions after tonight, you can certainly stop by my office, drop me an email. I'm happy to uh, look at that. We can move to the water utility then, page 188. Um, for water and sewer utilities, because they're multi divisional, we, we prepare these aggregate summary pages um, that just looks in, in total. Um, of, of the expenses and, and how they roll up together instead of trying to look through six or eight different separate service divisions. So um, to that extent, our expenditures are anticipated to be uh, in one tenth of a percent change from the 2017 budget revenues. I revised from the 2017 with some minor changes. Uh, reflecting a net 2% decrease in revenues. And again, that's based on our, our actuals with emphasis on 2017 year-to-date information. Um, on pages 189 through 192 are, are all the detail lines by division within the water utility. You will notice that some administrative salaries are increasing in, uh, on page 189, um, second line under water or first line under water administration about the middle of the page. Um, that is due to a, an accounting review of the labor charges for certain staff uh, where vacation time was previously being charged to service areas and that is a little inconsistent with how the Public Service Commission would prefer to see those issues addressed. Those areas are uh, absent dedicated staff for any single service area but we felt the best practice was to put that as an administrative cost uh, and you'll see a similar effect in the sewer utility uh, budget coming up in a few minutes. That does not reflect any significant staffing level changes. It's just a, um, an, an accounting review earlier this year that identified uh, that issue. Um, Health insurance seems to be going down since our projection. Is there just less staff? It's going from 19, which is our projected to 14. What, where are you looking? Um, Please. Under water administration, Third line down is health insurance. Right, our budget. Mm -hmm. uh, We've operated a person short in the utility up until the month ago. Yeah. But, but we have a higher, which would affect your 2017 projections, right? I think that projection um, might have to do with some staff turnover earlier in the year perhaps some changes in people working within utilities that work within these service areas, going from family to single coverage for those specific employees. There are some subsets of employees that uh, we schedule out for these, these areas. Um, so all, all told, that's um, kind of how it, and you also look at uh, you know, our salaries and wages and. Uh, are fairly comparable, so uh, that would be my, my general guess is, is that there's some uh, benefit of changes within, within those stats. On page 190, it's the main section, oh, I'm sorry, um, on a, on a, near the bottom, the maintenance of meters section, you'll see a substantial increase of, of services. It says 400%, please recognize that that's only um, based off of an $8,000 budget in prior years, so it's a very small service area, but we expect to provide additional uh, services in this with the implementation of the automated meter reading system in 2018. Also under the top of page 191, 
What's the question? Overtime wages are scheduled to increase? Yes. Is it a different workload with a different workload this year than last year? Or? Yeah, we anticipate a certain amount of work to be done after hours with trying to connect with our residents to do the meter. Maintenance of fire hydrants also went up um, significantly on page 191 from a percentage basis. Again, an extremely small division, um, but we are going to be doing some hydrant maintenance work in 2018. So that is a known factor, which is why we made a, an adjustment to our allocation of staff time in, in that area. Is the hydrant on Oakland being scheduled for this year or next year? This year. This year. This year. This year. And that would have been, uh, those items would tend to be in, uh, capitalized because they wouldn't really show up in, in the, this portion of the budget. Uh, just the staff, well, even staff time is capitalized. Uh, other than that, uh, again, a series of averages and trends throughout. Um, you will see that there is uh, some detail on pages 194, 195, 196, 197, and 197 again. Uh, some equipment needs for the, the water utility. I will make note that uh, uh, $50,000 for the skid steer is going to be monitored by staff to see if available funds in the water utility. Cash reserves are extremely tight in the water utility right now. So we will be monitoring that to make sure that we have sufficient funds um, for committing to that purchase. Can you explain where Wilson Drive utility of 75000 Uh, that is where you at? Page 193. 193. Do you have water main work going with Wilson Drive? Some, right? There, we anticipate a number of valve replacements. That's uh, right. And the abandonment of some irrigation lines on the left side. So it's integrated with the complete comprehensive Wilson Drive. Actually, so, our, our hope was that we would do that prior to that contract. As part of the prep work? Yes. Okay. Thank so, you for refreshing my memory. So, so it's not lowering the cost of the Wilson Drive budget? It's no. in addition? Yeah. And just so I understand, the valve replacement, is that... Um, Main is that, valves? Mainline valves? Where are those located? On the water mains. On I mean, I'm Park. just saying, where is our water? I don't know, is it on the east side, Wilson in the middle? Is it just where are talking about the house? East the side. Are you talking about the valves? Are you talking about the valves? Are the streets or are they in the uh, off street right away? The, the water main runs generally along the east curb line. Okay. And that, that is typical prior to any type of larger program to replace valves. Usage projection is based on this year's usage. I mean, it's a pretty wet year, right? And my water is substantially it's a dry year. It's we do not have a significant bump in a normal summer okay. because there's very little irrigation. Now, obviously, when you get a hot, very dry summer, we'll see some some uses that do not budget based on that presumption. But on a, on a modest, typical summer, if there is such a, a thing. The uh, meter replacements, so are we bonding for that or no? Yes. We are. Okay. Is it, is it, is it, is it in capital, the capital projects? So is it in 400 listed in there? No. No. It was part of the long range plan. We have a separate sheet. 
did not prepare a separate sheet. That's up to your initiative in the long range plan. I'll, I'll make sure I get a separate sheet to. The sewer is in here. We're the lateral yeah, I, it's, a, it's my oversight. I apologize. Okay. What, can you explain what that means? It just means where, where should it go? We should have a, a, a recap of the <coughs> meter replacement program in here, the capital detail sheets. And, and, it, should be, it, should and I don't, it should show in two oh, projects. No, it would show within the utilities because they're utility funded. They're not funded by the tax level. But sewer is. Why is sewer maintenance in here? Again, the lateral, the lateral in the capital budget is also not utility lateral, so those are private side lateral. Mm -hmm. So you're just saying that the debt service will come out of the utility? Correct. So is there a revenue, so the, the expenditures in here on line 56600, right, utility infrastructure. Uh -huh. And so there must be a, a revenue of, um, a revenue, right, offset. And she's asking where these actually budgeted in your capital expenditures fund for 18, are they actually budgeted in the utility funds. I mean, I think you should, should, should all of these are actually paid for with utility revenue or revenue bonds, not with GO. Not with GO. Right, so they're all budgeted here in the utility fund. But as, as uh, we do not show proceeds from debt in proprietary, or not proprietary, in enterprise funds. It's just an accounting presentation. It would be, then it would be just it's a liability when we get the. Right. Well, we, maybe we need to talk about it after. Sometimes I get confused. Because it seems like there would be debt service, not the total project cost. Well, there's interest. And then the, at the bottom of page 192, we try to reflect our 2018 debt service principal payments, also not shown on the expenditure side. Uh, I think it's a matter of. Uh, the accounting practices that are used for, for enterprise utility funds. Okay, and we're issuing debt for it. We're not yes. finance. We're not yes. cash. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, That's correct. Okay, the other question I had is the um, the APY cost that's in here. Is that had previously always been a direction of the village manager that I include that in the budget. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's been a number of years since I have attended, um, but it's a national congress. Um, it, it, the, the location varies, it, it rotates. Um, the utility budget, 3,004, I guess, in total? Yes. It, it's paid partially by... Um, it's split. It's split among the... I, I, Typically, um, for larger things such as that, um, if, if I were to attend, I would propose um, when I submit the invoices a split based on how much my time is split. So it would be paid by um, DPW, water, and sewer based upon the, the percentage allocations that when my salary or Joel's salary is paid. No, no, no. What, what that's intended <coughs> to, to um, illustrate then is to capture a presentation of the level of commitments that the utility is engaging in. They tend to zero out in most cases, depending on exactly what's being proposed, if it's capitalized. Otherwise, again, in, in the utility operations, those are completely off, off statement. But, uh, but we added that a couple years back so that we could see the history, at least in the short term, with the scope of work that's being done with the utilities. 
Any other questions on the water utility? Okay. I thought about my question for parking. I'm sorry. Can I ask it now? Sure. Is that a risk of utility? Um, I just wanted to know, Wilson Drive is going to be under construction next year. So would we lower, do we take that into consideration for parking permits? No. So for those 30 cars that normally park there, I assume they're not going to be able to? Well, it was my understanding in general that we'd make specific accommodations on side streets for those permit holders during construction, so it would still be charged to Wilson Drive revenue even though they might park on side street. All right. <laughs> Any utilities? Oh, we got the sewer utility. Oh, yeah. One more utility. If yeah. you want to skip it, that's no, that's all. No, no way. No way. <laughs> Again, on page 199, we provide 